Now, next, if we were asked to find what is the acceleration, how to find the acceleration? Acceleration will be V minus U over T. Now, it is up to you which initial you are going to use. All right? So, I can take this as the initial. This will be the final. All right? And then, you look here, what is the U? The initial velocity will be 5 cm divided by one strip has 10 ticks. 10 times 0 0.5. 0 0.02 second. So how much would that be? This will be 5 centimeter over 0 0.2 second. So 5 divided by 0 0.2. This is 25. 25 centimeter per second. 0 0.25 meter per second. And what is your V? Your final velocity. Your final velocity must be the last trip. In this case, if I take the last trip as a final, then it will be 14 cm divided by also 10 strip, uh, 10 ticks, 0 0.02 second, and that will be how much? Uh, 14 divided by 0 0.2, which is 70, 70 cm per second. I divide by 100, 0 0.7 meter per second. So with that, the acceleration is V minus U divided by time. Now, where is your time? Remember I told you, time is where it starts to change each initial. This is still initial, initial. So you don't count this. It starts to change from strip number two. So it will be 10 ticks, 20 ticks, and 30 ticks. You don't count the first one, remember? You don't count the first one. So 10 ticks, 20 ticks. 30 ticks. So that will be your 30 ticks times 0 0.02 second. That will give you meter per second square. So that will be the graph from the ticker tape. Now after we know the graph from the ticker tape, now we come to what we have on the graph. Okay? Graph for motion. Number one, when you want to look at graph, you always look at two components. You always look at the gradient. Gradient represents what? And number two, you always look at the y-axis. Y-axis will represent what value? All right? Now, the first one is I'm going to discuss on case number one, which is graphs on S versus T. Displacement versus time. S stands for displacement. S is displacement. Okay? Now here, say S versus T. I have one graph which is a straight line. What does it show? Now, please remember, look at the gradient first. My gradient. The gradient is always... The y-axis divided by the x-axis. So you have to, you have uh, uh, various types of gradient. Straight line, going up, going down, okay? All these are increasing gradient. This is a positive constant gradient. When this is like that, this is a constant gradient. Positive constant gradient. And what about a curve? For a curve to go up, the gradient is determined by the tangent line. You see? I draw the tangent line like this. I draw the tangent line. And I draw the tangent line. The line is increasing. So this is called increasing gradient. Increasing positive gradient. And what about this curve? You look at my line. This is the tangent line. This is the tangent line. And this is the tangent line. So, by looking at the tangent line, what can you say about the gradient? It is getting smaller, 
smaller and smaller, we say this is decreasing positive gradient. I have increasing positive gradient, decreasing positive gradient, and constant positive gradient. Follow? Similarly, I have a straight line down, curve this way, and a curve that way. What does it show? Let's look at the gradient. If this is going downwards, this is a, a negative constant gradient. All right, a negative constant gradient. And what about a curve like that? Look at the gradient. This is a line. This is a line. And this is a line. This is getting steeper and steeper and steeper. So we say this is an increasing negative gradient. Correct? Increasing negative gradient. And what about this? Look at the line. So steep, less steep, even smaller steepness. So what does it show? It shows that this is what? This is decreasing negative gradient. Okay, decreasing negative gradient. So now coming back to here again, what does the gradient? The gradient is a positive constant. And what does the gradient? Gradient is S over T. S over T. And what is S over T? Displacement divided by time is what? Velocity. So now we say that this is a positive constant velocity. So this graph will show that it is a constant Velocity. Can you follow? Constant velocity. <coughs> Next. If I have this, S versus T, horizontal line. So what is the gradient here? You see? The gradient is S over T, always Y axis divided by X axis. This is velocity. All right, and this gradient is zero, so that means it is zero velocity. Zero velocity means what? Zero velocity means no velocity. No velocity means the object is not moving. The object is at rest. Can you follow? It is not moving. All right. Next. S and T curve. What does it show? Let's look at the gradient again. S over T is the gradient. S over T. And displacement divided by time is called what? Velocity. And let's look at the gradient. What can you say about the gradient of this line? You see, the gradient of this line, the steepness, getting more, getting more, and getting more. So it is increasing. It is increasing gradient, so which means that it is increasing velocity. All right? Increasing velocity. What about this? What is the gradient? The gradient is S over T. S over T is velocity. And velocity is what? Let's look at the line. The line is what? Decreasing. So we say it is decreasing velocity. Alright? So that will be your displacement against time craft.